hi welcome back to the channel and today i'll discuss about the screens in jira this is a very important and confusing topic for jira admins so today in this video i'll discuss about from the basics what is the screen what is the screen schemes and what is issue type screen schemes so that you can understand how you can design your screen then map those screen with the screen schemes and then map those screen schemes with the issue types using issue type screen schemes i know this is a little bit uh, confusing but don't worry after watching this video you will be able to understand the screen concept very clearly so without any further ado let's start with the video this is my jira cloud instance and now i will go to this cog and setting icon if you are a jira admin then definitely you have a access of this setting icon now we will go to the issues and here under the screens we have screen screen schemes and the issue type screen schemes before starting explaining what is screen screen schemes and the issue type screen schemes i want to show you something this is a very useful diagram where you can understand the concept of the field configuration the screen schemes and the workflow in a better way here we will talk about this so this is a screen and on the screen we will have a fields after that we will map to the issue operation like create view and edited by the screen schemes and then these screen scheme is mapped to issue type by issue type screen scheme and at the end it is associated with the project now we'll come back here in the cloud instance and we will click on the screens and here you can also read about what is a screen actually a screen is an arrangement of fields that are displayed when the issue is created edited or transitioned through workflow now here we can see we have a lot of screens here like uh, scrum bug screen and the scrum default issue screen at the starting you can see this is a project key so that you can identify okay this particular screen is belongs to this project in this video i'm gonna take this project which is development let me open it here this is my development project and here i will go to the project setting to check which screen scheme this project is using so for this i will click on summary and here in this summary part you can see about the issue type like uh, what kind of a issue type this particular project uh, has and version component information roles informations permissions workflows and notification along with the screens and fields in this video we are talking about the screens here so here you can see it is using a dev a scrum issue type a screen scheme and a scrum default screen scheme and for bug it is using the scrum bug screen scheme now we will again come here in this section and i'm just and i will open this one so here you can see we have a a uh, dev scrum bug screen and the dev scrum default issue screen i want to show you like what is happening in the screen how we are arranging the field in the screen uh, right now in the scrum default issue screen so i'm gonna open this and here you can see the arrangement of the fields here these are the fields and the order of the issues that the dev scrum default issue screen is using you can change the order if you want let's suppose if you want to keep the uh, security level just above the components then you can do it with the help of this simply drag and drop and we have the other options as well let's suppose if you want to uh, remove this fixed version here then you can simply click and it will remove there is no need to click on the save button it is good here just you can remove it and drag and drop and there is no need to save anything here you can select a field that you want to add more field here let's suppose if i want to use the actual and then you can choose here if you want to add the actual start then you can do it like this so you can add the fields according to your screen requirements but now i'm going to remove these two fields but i wanted to tell you how you can add the more fields in your screen you can change the sequence you can remove the fields you can add the fields here in the screen so this is the place where you can configure or design your screen 
here we have the option to add the tab and this is the option where you can edit the tab name this is a fail tab so if you want to edit it that you can and you can press the ok but right now i'm gonna cancel it i can add more tabs so that uh, i can arrange those fields accordingly and here other options where you can configure the order of your fields and tabs in your project here you can see by going to the project setting and the issue layout this is the first way where you can arrange the order of your fields and this is the second way by going to the project setting and the issue layout here i am already in the project setting and if i will scroll down here under the issues i will find the option layout here you can change the sequence of your fields in the screen so issue types in the project okay these are the issue types if you want to edit the issue layout you can simply click here and here you can arrange the, your fields you can get the same options from the issue view also you will get a configure option in the right section where you can click and this particular issue layout page will open where you can arrange the sequence of your fields so this is the uh, place where you can do it like if you want to make it this epic name uh, sorry where is the epic name yes epic name just above the sprint then here you can do it and if you want to add more fields then you can simply drag and drop or simply you can click it click it here and you can see it's a fixed version if you want to search more fields then you can uh, type here let's suppose it could be a due date so if you want to use the due date here then you can simply drag and drop or you can uh, click it will be here like just below the summary so this is the way you can edit the issue layout now i'm gonna tell you the third way how you can edit this issue layout from your issue view page so you can go back to the backlog changes that you have made may not be saved okay i don't want to save right now now i will click in the backlog and i will pick any issue here let me pick this one dev 186 i will open it and i will open this in a new tab and when you will come into the right hand side here you can see the configure button when you will click here then you will be here in the layout section automatically and again you can change the order of your fields here and if you want to add more fields then you can do it but from here you cannot remove your fields if you want to remove your fields then you have to go to your screens and from the configure screen options you can remove the fields from here so this is the place where you can uh, configure your fields now we will go back to the screen schemes here because we i have explained you what is a screen and how we are arranging the fields in the screen now we will come to the screen schemes and we will find out our dev which is the scrum default screen scheme so i will click here and here you can see this is a default used for all unmapped operation unmapped operation means the default operation which is uh, create added and the view so the operations create added and view are using this uh, scrum default issue screen here if you want to add it then you can but right now i'm just explaining you what are the screens and what are the screen schemes so here that we created the scrum default issue screens we are associating or you can see we are mapping that screen with the issue operations and the issue operations are here default like create edit and view now we will go back to our issue type screen schemes what we will do in the issue type screen scheme we will map this uh, scrum default screen scheme with the issue type with the help of the issue type screen scheme so now we will go here and then we will come to our dev scrum issue type screen scheme we will go and click on config and here we have an option like associate an issue type with the screen scheme so we have already associated our default issue type with the scrum default screen scheme and the bug issue type with the scrum bug screen scheme so we have already associated our default or you can say unmapped issue type with the 
dev scrum default scheme scheme and the bug issue type with the scrum bug screen scheme so this is the way how it works we create uh, we arrange our fields with the help of the screen then we map those screen with the operations with the help of the screen schemes and then we map those screen schemes with the issue type with the help of the issue type screen scheme now i will cover one scenario here where i will create a new screen uh, for a story issue type so that you can see okay how you can create a new screen and then how you can map that screen with the screen schemes and the issue type screen schemes so let's do it and here in the development project what i will do when i will create a new issue with the issue type story then i want like uh, the attachment should not be there the component should not be there and i don't want the label fields here so i will design my screen in such a way where i just want the summary uh, and only the description and assign a field only and the priority as well okay so let's do it right now i'm gonna cancel it now here i will come and i will design my screen i have a option to add a screen here where when you will click on add screen you can give the name of your screen and the description and click on the add button but i would prefer you can go and copy the existing screen so that you can get a lot of stuff already and you can just change according to your requirement and it is pretty easy rather than just getting the blank screen here we have the uh, scrum default issue screen so i'm gonna copy this particular screen here now i will edit it so this is the dev scrum story a story issue screen i can write down the description and now i will click on copy now you can come here and you can see i have a dev scrum story issue screen i'm going to click on this so that i can arrange my fields and i can remove the fields that i don't want to see on my screen here i don't want to see the security level so i'm going to remove it i don't want to see the components i'm going to remove the component field as well and here i don't want the sprint parent epic link labels and the priority too so i'm going to remove those fields here labels and epic link i don't want and i don't want the parent and the sprint so this is not any standard way like if you are designing a screen for the story issue types then it is necessary to remove those fields but i am just doing it uh, just for the demo perspective so that you can understand how to remove and how to arrange and design your screen according to your requirement so you can add remove or arrange the fields as per your requirement i want this assignee should be just below the issue type here so i can reorder the fields just like that and now i want to add one more field which is log work so i can type and here is log work i want to keep it just below the assignee okay so i have designed my screen now i will click on the screens and i have designed my story scrum story issue screen right now you can see this is not associated with any kind of a screen scheme yes now we will come to the screen schemes and we will do exactly the same as we did when we were creating the screens here we have a option to add a screen scheme you can simply go and write the name description and from here you can choose a screen uh, you can see we have a dev scrum story issue screen here if you want to create your screen scheme from scratch but no i'm gonna copy the existing one here we have the scrum default screen scheme i will go and click on the copy and here we can change the name which is dev scrum story screen scheme okay i'm going to copy and here you can see we have the scrum story screen scheme now what we will do we will map the screen that we created with this screen scheme so what we will do we will go and click on configure and now we will associate an issue operation with a screen 
so we want uh, let's suppose on the create issue it should be a screen which is dev scrum story click on add and for the edit we also want the same screen which is a scrum story issue screen click on add and now we will associate one more issue operation which is view with the same screen view and we will map this with the same screen which is a scrum story issue screen and press the add so here we have associated the three uh, operations create issue edit issue and the view issue with the scrum story issue screens now we will go and map this scrum uh, story issue type with the issue type screen scheme i will click on the issue type screen scheme here and again we have option if you want to create from a scratch then you can click on the add issue type screen scheme here you will get a option to like enter the name description and choose your default screen scheme right now i'm gonna cancel it here and what i will do i will use the same scrum issue type screen scheme here i will go and click on configure and here you can see for the uh, default like used for all unmapped issue type they are using the scrum default screen scheme but i won't like for the issue type story i will choose a story here i want to use a screen which is dev scrum story scheme i will choose it and i will press add here you can see uh, for the unmapped issue type that we have with our project they will use a scrum default scrum scheme for the story we are using a scrum story screen scheme and for the bug we are using the scrum bug screen scheme here so this is the process we have created a screen then we have created a screen scheme so that we can map that screen with the operations like create edit and view and then we map that screen scheme with the issue type story is with the help of the issue type screen scheme now it's a time for testing we will go with the dev project here and i just want to have a look uh, if in the summary i will go and click on the project setting again and i will click on summary and here under the screens i can see yeah here you can see the scrum story screen scheme is here that we are using for the story issue type now we will go and create a issue let's suppose i'm gonna create a story here the issue type is a story the summary is here assign is here and you can see the log work that i have added in the screen later this is here the attachment is here description and the linked issue is here there is no priority labels and components fields are here because i have already removed those fields from my screen let's suppose i want to create my testing story after adding new fields new fields okay and i'm gonna hit the create button here i can see on the view issues we have the same like assignee reporters and the description here we don't have much fields as like the others now i will go and hit the create button so that i can check like these fields are coming only for the story okay the summary assignee and log work are here now let's suppose i will create a new task which is the issue type task and for the task issue type you can see we have summary and yeah here you can see the component is here and the linked issue types is here assign is here priority is here label is here and the sprint is here but if we will choose the issue type which is a story here then the fields are different so like this you can design your screens you can choose which a field you want to keep here and which field you want to remove so this is the way you can create uh, your screens for the operations and for the different issue types we are using the fields here that's why in my next video i'm gonna cover the 
fields and the field configuration schemes the field configurations and the custom fields also i have already created a one video about the custom fields how you can create the custom fields and then use those custom fields on the screens associate those screens with your project so if you haven't watched that video then i have mentioned the link in the description box go and check it out so as a jira admin now you have a complete control on your screens like uh, which type of fields you want to show on the creative screen the edit and the view screens i hope now you have a clear concept about these screens and you will not confuse again like how what is the screen screen schemes and the issue type is screen schemes but still if you have any questions related to the screens in jira then don't forget to ask in the comment box i'll definitely reply as much as i can and i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed my channel then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest video thanks for watching this video have a great day